Hualien's tipping port sits along the Kuroshio Current in the Pacific Ocean. The area is rich in ocean resources, but the plant zone will cover 200 meters from the coast, and from the coast, and the types of fishing tools allowed in the zone will also be restricted. Locals say the coastal area is part of the traditional territory of the Amis people. Further res restrictions will threaten their livelihood as well as their traditions in hosting rituals near the sea. Hualien's Shi Ti Ping recreational area is noted for its beautiful landscape and rich marine resources. You can also join a whale watching tour from Shi Ti Port. However, amid worldwide campaigns promoting eco conservation and the development of ecotourism, Shi Ti Ping has been listed as a conservation site. Now, the government is planning to expand the conservation area along the coast from Shimen in the north down to Makotai community. From the intertidal area to the end of the 200-meter limit is in fact an ideal zone for the cultivation and breeding of marine lives. Now the reproduction of fishes cannot catch up with the demand of the fishermen. So we are thinking about managing this place in a proper way to allow more fish to grow. Now this way, the fishermen will have better catch in the future and our fishing industry can also enjoy sustainable development. Local fishermen say their fishing activities are already restricted with limits set on the catch allowed for the set net area. The MS people say further restrictions will make life harder for them since they have relied on the ocean for their living. With a set net, we are not able to catch the migration fish. So how can we fishermen live and survive? How do we catch fish? Of course, we catch in the ocean for lobsters, shellfish, and fish swimming among the rocks. The MS people have stated clearly that the preservation area is part of their traditional territory. The locals living along the coast all sail out to sea from Shi Ti Ping port for their fishing trips. Now, the government plans to further restrict their fishing operations, and many members are worried about the impact on their livelihood. TITV Weekly.